Next, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite biometric type sensors. This one is the fingerprint sensor. And why I like this so much is there's a common misconception that the Arduino isn't that powerful and can't really do very powerful things. And I think reading a fingerprint is actually a pretty powerful thing to do. It reads your finger, stores images, compares those images to ones that are stored, and then can give you information back whether it's passed or not and to what percentage of reliability. So I wouldn't really win that argument saying that the Arduino is really powerful enough to do that, but that's why we like the Arduino so much. There are things like this, this fingerprint sensor that has a lot of electronics in here, does all the heavy lifting, but is compatible with Arduino. So we can add very advanced features like fingerprint recognition to an Arduino very easily with the use of a library. Speaking of libraries, let's go ahead and take a look at that library now to figure out how to wire this up. I will say that I soldered some male header pins to the ends of the wires here. They're very thin and hard to use with a breadboard. I thought this would be a lot easier. So I'll go ahead and plug that in and then let's look at the Arduino sketch. Load up Arduino and then include library. And my guess is if I were to type in finger here, it would probably come up pretty quick. There it is, fingerprint library. Install that. It's installed. Quit. Load it up again. So while that's loading up, let's talk a little bit about how you enroll finger IDs into the sensor. I use a Mac, so I'm going to use the Arduino software to enroll a user, but I will tell you it's a little flaky. It's not as good as the PC software that this comes with. If you use a PC, you can download some specific sketches to your Arduino, you hook it up to your Arduino, and then you run the PC software and you can enroll the fingerprints. What's nice is you can see the fingerprints as they're being scanned, gives you a lot more feedback and control. I highly, highly recommend you get access to a PC and run that software to enroll fingerprints. If you don't, you can use a Mac and one of the sketches to enroll. We're gonna go ahead and do that, but your error rate is pretty high. It's gonna take a few times to enroll a finger and you can enroll over 100 fingers with this one sensor. So now that we have that library installed, let's go into our examples. Library, there's the fingerprint. Now, like I said, you can use the PC library, the PC software and to do that, you would upload something like the blank sketch. And yes, blank sketch is essentially that, right? It has a void setup with nothing in it and a void loop with nothing. And the reason you do that is it enables the USB port to talk to the Arduino, but you're passing the information through to the PC. There's also another example in there with the Leonardo. So if you're using a Leonardo, you want to use that example. It's just some nuances with the software. Read the documentation. It's very well commented and explained. It makes a lot of sense. For me though, I am going to use the Arduino sketch. Let's close those blank ones here and open this up. And we can see that right there, pin two is green. So we will take the green right here into pin two and white is pin three. Simple enough, put that into pin three and then power and ground. I already read the data sheet on this so I know that it's five volt compliant but make sure you double check that because there's nothing worse than putting five volts into a 3.3 volt friendly sensor and ruining your sensor and ruining your day. So now that I have that all wired up, I'm gonna go ahead and upload it. The code's been uploaded, so let's go ahead and open up the monitor and see what's going on here. So finger test, it found the sensor, great. And type in the ID you want. Let's just type in five and hit return. And nothing happens. Now, if you're new to Arduino, this could be extremely frustrating. It could ruin your whole day trying to figure out what's going on. I happen to know what it is and I'll save you many hours of misery. When communicating with this, you have this option down here, no line ending, new line, carriage return, and both new line and carriage return. That is whether it's sending the data and reading the data back and forth of carriage returns and new lines. You wanna pick both N, L, and C, R, new line and carriage return. And now if I type in a number and hit return, it is enrolling ID 55. I must hit five 
really quick. So there we go. My sensor's on, it's waiting for me to read, and I put my finger on it, and it says image taken, image converted, place the same finger. And we're gonna do this over and over until eventually that image is renewed. You may get some errors, and you'll have to do it a few times, but it will work eventually. Let me close this out, and then let's look at one of the other examples here. Fingerprint sensory library, fingerprint. Now that's the code you wanna use for when you're say controlling access to a door with this. We'll upload this code. Pins are the same. And the red light's on and if I open up the serial monitor, it says waiting for a valid finger, finger test. It found the finger sensor and it's waiting for a valid finger. So I can just sit here and keep putting my fingers on here until I recognize the one that I had previously enrolled and I could have this actuate a lock or do really anything based on a human fingerprint.